It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some more Eminem that we're going to dive into between the rest of this week and next week. I should finally finish up the Revival album because I found there was a few more songs that I still hadn't heard. One of them is Remind Me, so I wanted to dive into that today. And I still am going to keep saying that I can't wait for the new album, especially after hearing Houdini. Like, that shit got me hype. I'm like a little kid. I'm, re I'm ready for more. I'm ready for more. So let's get into this. Uh, let's see what he was cooking with on this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My man said freckle cheeks and a butt chin. Yo, I, I just picture Uriah Faber um, immediately. I, I don't think he's got freckled cheeks, but he definitely has the butt chin. What is this? What is this sample from? I feel like I've done a reaction to the song that this is sampled from, but I can't think of what it is. Yo. That's why I love rock and roll. Do, 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 baby. I who like, maybe I haven't done the reaction to that, but I, I feel like everybody knows that hook. What is that? Who who is that that sings that song? Somebody let me know because I might have to upload a reaction to that. All right, I like this so far. This is dope. This is definitely dope. For those of you guys that don't know, on my main channel, Dwayne TV, where I used to do my music reactions, I've been doing more commentary content. I do touch on all sorts of things, drama online, YouTubers, stuff like that. But I do touch on music drama as well. And we did make a video about Eminem. Obviously, they try to cancel him like they have throughout his whole career. Never going to work. But I talk about that situation. We watch a video from TikTok where somebody gets really upset about some of the lyrics that he says. And then we talk about the Megan Thee Stallion bar and how people want to cancel him for that. So if anybody hasn't seen that video, I feel like you should tune in because that that is just such a wild time. And I'm so happy that we're getting this M back. shirt tonight too yo with me on it i'm looking at your type here like a sightseer your booty is heavy duty like diarrhea the plan is to bring you to my house you're drinking jack and beam my man said wait hold up <laughs> my man says your booty is heavy duty like diarrhea <laughs> i would never personally use any bars like this in a song that i do but M's different. M can M can pull this kind of shit off, and this shit mad funny. I just sometimes the things that he says catches me off guard. It's heavy duty, like diarrhea. The plans to bring you to my house. You're drinking Jack and Beam. I'm thinking soon as trampoline, so we should bounce. But you're out of your tube top. If you're thinking that me casa is soup casa, yeah you're a cute fox. Perfect tin, so back that up like a moonwalk. Girl you're smoking like Snoop Dogg, but you must be talking. If you think you're taking over my quarters, there goes a diamond to the jukebox. That's not a reference to Token the rapper, right? You must be Token if you think you're taking over my quarters. Obviously, Token, quarters, like you go to an arcade, right? You, you get tokens for your money, Token, quarters. So like there, there's a play on it that has absolutely nothing to do with it. But also a lot of people compare Token to M, which I feel like people do about white rappers all the time. And I don't necessarily think a lot of them sound the same. I think people just have this weird mindset where they're like, all white rappers sound like M. Which is crazy, but M has inspired a lot of people, so clearly there is going to be some influence in some people, but Token has definitely had people say stuff like that to him, even though I think he's uniquely himself, and, you know, you must be Token if you think you're taking over my quarters, like, quarters can also be, like, it's like an old school way of saying, like, my my room, right, or my my space, like, the, like bring them to my quarters, right, That's some, something like that I've heard before, so it, it sounds almost like you must be Token if you think you're taking over my space, I feel like that could be a reference. I could be completely wrong. Let me know what you guys think down below. Obviously, I'm years late on hearing this song, 
and I don't even know how old Token would have been when this came out, but he he was popping off at a very young age at one point. And if I'm not mistaken, he even said in one of his songs that he had been reached out to by somebody from M's team, maybe to sign with M or so, something like that. And he turned it down. And that's why I feel like this could potentially be something like that. A little, little something, something, because you know, M is always known for taking these little sub shots and, and yes, very direct shots as well. But there's times where he takes shots and we don't even know it. But the people involved, they know it. And I've, I've used this example many times, but in his uh, what song was it? I think it was Zeus off of Music to be Murdered by. He has a bar about you think she thinks Machine washed me. She probably listens to Takashi. And there is a girl who is in battle rap who's not even one of the more popular battle rappers, but her name is Misfit. And she was on Math Hoffa's podcast. And some of you guys that don't watch battle rap probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just saying words. But she was on his podcast and she made a comment at one point in this interview talking about how. She enjoyed Takashi's music to an extent because it just it's kind of a bop like not that he's like lyrical or anything like that, but it just it just it's got a good sound to it and reminds her of some other stuff. And so she enjoyed it. And then in that same podcast, she said that she thought Machine washed Eminem, even though it's the unpopular opinion. And we've heard from M apparently from Math Hoffa that he's listened to that podcast Maybe not that specific one, but he's listened to his podcast. And so the fact that he has a bar in there about she thinks machine washed me. She probably listens to Takashi and it just it relates perfectly to that podcast episode. I can't get my words out today for some reason. So I'm like pausing a lot. But anyways, all I'm trying to say is he hears and sees a lot of shit that we don't even realize. And there's probably even other shots in some of his songs that none of us have any idea what it's about specifically. We just know that he's kind of talking about something. And the people that are involved know that he's talking about them type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like this could potentially be a token bar. Be token. If you think you're taking over my quarters, there goes the time into the jukebox. Two shots of blue hypnotic and suit up. Turn this blue hall to a bar room bra. So they scratch on the break like the cue ball. Turn the volume all the way up on your boom box. And excuse the locker room talk, I'm just too raw. But apparently so are you, ma. Cause you just kicked me in the balls and told me to screw off. And that's why. Shit, girl, I order you to sit. I know you're probably feeling me more than you admit. Pull up a chair, sweetie, let me order you a drink. I only go to meetings, court order from a shrink. So from the bottom to the top, let's blow at a ceiling. You ain't running a mill, you're one in a million. Cause real tits are still fun, but everybody knows fake tits are still better than real ones. That's a bold statement. I can't say that I've come across fake ones myself. I ain't, I ain't had the opportunity to play with some fake ones. For anybody that has, you let me know what you think down below. But the real ones is nice, bro. It's hard to beat, I think. So come and spend the night with the guy much to terrify you. But tonight, curiosity overrides you. Beside you, fire Like a starter pistol, crystal and slide, hun. Tonight I'm your pilot. Because you should be up in the sky, girl. You're so fucking fly. You belong in a mile high club. So come on, baby, tonight's young. Don't string me along, I'm high strung. We might wind up on down like we're trying for the side young. Fucking before we get to the house, screwing our brains out. Like changing a light bulb, that's why I like ya. Cause I'm crazy just like ya. Now every time I get playing, you screw mine up. I barely can think straight. Your head game is a mind fuck. <laughs> so ready, set, aim. I feel fire. that. Yes, babe, I'm falling in like this kind of what I like. This is a jam, okay. I didn't know he did this. Yo, that was actually extremely dope. I don't know how I did not know that he took the sample of that song and, and also, I mean... Not even just the sample of the music itself, but the, the, the vocals and then created this song. I had no idea. I literally I, I, that's wild to me of all the songs off of revival that I thought I would have heard. I would have assumed that this would have been one of them. Let me know what you guys thought about this song. But also, I'm curious what you guys think about the token bar.
I'm sure there's going to be some people that completely disagree with me. I know in the past I've made comments about subliminal shots and I've actually upset people because people are like, Eminem doesn't take subliminal shots. I think it was around the NFing bar where people were curious if he had mentioned something that related to NF, the artist, and whether it was a shot or not. And, and everyone's like, well, no, if he wanted to say it, he would just say it outright. M doesn't do subs. And I'm like, yo. First of all, it's not a disrespect to M to say that he did a subliminal shot. There's nothing disrespectful about subs. It's something that's happened in rap for years and years and years. And M has done it. He's been very specific about cannabis in the past, but there's also bars he's done about cannabis that were subliminal. That like if you knew, then you knew. But if you were out of the loop, you may not have caught it, right? So that, that's really all a sub is. And there's nothing wrong with making sub shots at anybody. It's it's something that he does probably better than anybody else. So it's crazy to me that some people got upset and they're like, well, I'm offended. M doesn't do sub shots. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. M's, M's that guy, though. And again, anytime I say anything about M, it's never meant for disrespect. M is my top three. He's in my top three. I'm not saying he's third. I don't know where he falls. I, the top three can mix up. Most likely, he's like second for me. And the reason why I say that is because I grew up and I mean, I listened to him after his death. But Tupac is my guy. Some of his songs helped me through some really rough times growing up and anxiety and shit and just like really put me in a way better mindset and so I think because of that I'm always going to be biased to Tupac without a doubt and I think that that's the reason why some people are biased to certain artists that they always have at number one no matter what so you know as far as a technical rapper I think M might be the best just because the evolution of him from early days till till now might be one of the greatest evolutions of any artist and he's changed so much whereas a lot of artists sound the same. And I don't mean that in a bad way. There's nothing wrong with sounding the same way that they did a decade ago or even further back. But a lot of artists kind of still have that same feel to them. Whereas M now and then is like two completely different artists. He's went through so many different changes throughout his career that you've got to respect it. So anyways, appreciate you guys. Let me know what you thought about this. We're going to be doing a lot more off of the revival app. Well, not a lot more, but there's a couple more songs that I haven't heard that we're going to get uploaded. I'm also going to try to make sure we wrap up anything off of relapse. Uh, any of those albums in the middle there that I've missed, we're going to try to get through those. So I'll catch you in the next one, homies.